Streamlabs Mobile Facebook Live Full Tutorial. Hey guys, today's video is all about taking your mobile streaming game to the next level by connecting Streamlabs to Facebook Live. Whether you are a gaming enthusiast, a creative artist or just looking to share your adventures, Streamlabs has got you covered. I'll guide you step by step on how to seamlessly link your Streamlabs mobile app to Facebook Live, unlocking a world of customizable overlays, real-time alerts and interactive chats. Stick around to discover how to elevate your Facebook Live streams with the power of Streamlabs right from your mobile device. Now here's how we are going to do it. First things first, you have to make sure that you have downloaded the Streamlabs application. So you're just going to go ahead and open your Play Store and then look for Streamlabs and this is the app that we are looking for. So after downloading, just tap that open button and now we are here. We can go ahead and tap next in order to start setting it up. Now in setting up your Streamlabs mobile app, I have already uploaded a detailed instruction on how to do it. So go ahead and check that out in the channel. Now this time I'm just going to go ahead and run through how it's done. Basically from here you have here the option to go live with your camera or you can also broadcast your screen to stream your games. Now for the last choices you can do both. So I'm just going to go ahead and do both. Click next from here. Now here we're going to go ahead and select our layout. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the default in order to make our lives easier. It includes the chat, alert box, and the event list. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then we're going to enable our camera and our microphone, which is very easy by the way. Now after doing so, this is what you are going to see. So as you can see here, you have here your camera. So basically I can go ahead and do this one and then my face is going to be seen or basically show my screen in here. Now after after that, I'm going to go ahead and tap this one here and then we're going to go ahead and enable dark mode. After doing so, we're going to tap account settings and then we're going to log in with our Facebook. So this is very important. You can go ahead and log in with any other in here later on. But for primary account, I'm going to use Facebook. So I'm going to click log in. And it's actually very easy. As you can see, it already authenticated Facebook. And then if we are going to tap this one here, we're going to click account settings. You should be able to see here Vladimir Shakiv. We are using it as our primary account. So here you have their Streamlabs ID. So that is me. And then you also have here Twitch and Facebook. So the reason why Twitch is there is because I have already integrated my Twitch account to my Facebook account. So that's why if I log into Streamlabs, it automatically appears in there. Now after that, you can go ahead and do the same thing for others in here. And we're going to close this one. Now we're going to tap go to advanced settings down here below. Click continue. All right, and then you're going to see something like this. So for the themes, you're going to click this one. Now it's very important that you add a theme, but again, this is only applicable if you have Streamlabs Ultra. Now we're going to close that one and we're going to click scenes. I want you to go ahead and add your important scenes in here. Just go ahead and tap create new scene, and then you'll be able to see here pre-made scenes already available. So go ahead and check that out. Now we're going to close this one, and then you have here the disconnect protection. That's important if you have Streamlabs loves ultra and another thing is the streaming settings i'm going to click that one and then for the video settings we're going to go ahead and set this one to 720p 30 fps is something that i don't really like so we're going to click that one and we're going to change to the 60 fps if we are using it for games if you're just having some sort of conversation then 30 fps is gonna do you good but yeah again for gamers set it to 60 fps for the video bitrate we're going to set it to 4000 basically the sweet spot for this one is 4500 but yep i'm going to go ahead and downgrade this one because again we're going to be using our phone for streaming and for games so if your phone is not that capable just go ahead and downgrade that one but yeah basically i want you to go ahead and set this up again there is another video for that just go ahead and click that one and yep this time we're going to go ahead and start going live so we're going to go back to our facebook and i'm just going to go ahead and show you so here in my facebook i actually have two pages if i were to click this one you should be able to see here my two pages now i'm going to go ahead and try to stream in this particular page so we're going back to streamlabs and then here we're going to go ahead and click go live all right click this one here and then we're going to choose facebook now i'm going to click next and then from here we're going to choose easy weber because again that is where we want to stream click next again and here you're going to go ahead and put a stream title and then I'm going to go ahead and put some description in here. Basically, any description is going to be okay. All right. And then click go live. 
Alright, so as you can see, we have already started streaming right now. And let's go ahead and check it on our Facebook. So we're going to refresh this one here. Alright, as you can see, it says there that I'm live right now. And then if I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, there you go. You can see that it is working right now. So say for example, we're going to go ahead and basically uh, enable our auto rotate just so we could play some games. Let's try it. Alright, so it's auto rotated right now. So we're going to try to check the video here. Alright, there you go. So you can see it working, right? And yep, that's also our camera right there. I basically put it at the back so that you won't be able to see me so yep that is the reason why it's there but yep congratulations everybody that is how easy it is if you want to stop this one you can just go ahead and close this and basically go back to streamlabs and here in streamlabs you have there the stop button so go ahead and click that one now lastly before we end this video i'm going to give you guys some tips in how to use streamlabs mobile app so before you are going to start streaming i want you to go ahead and check your internet connection basically from here you have two options whether to connect to 2.4 g or to 5g as you can see 5g is actually a lot faster so we're going to go ahead and make sure that you are connected to 5g so how do we know that one just go ahead to your settings and from here you're going to click this one so if you're going to scroll down you can see that the frequency that i'm using right Right now is 5g and that is very important again make sure that you are connected to 5g now after doing that one we're going to go ahead and optimize our settings for performance so go ahead to your settings once again and from here i want you to go ahead and scroll down until you see battery all right here's mine as you can see you have there the performance mode so i want you to go ahead and enable that one it's basically going to optimize your settings to deliver the maximum performance of your phone but take note that the power consumption and the temperature is also going to increase for doing this one so make sure that you are in a well ventilated area or better yet air conditioned room now after doing so we're going to go ahead to the next one i want you to scroll this one here and we're going to enable auto rotate so auto rotate is very important especially if you are playing games you want to be able to rotate your phone so that it will reflect on your stream so again go ahead and enable that one and last but not the least test before going live so i want you to go ahead to your stream labs once again and from here i want you to go live but this time make sure that you are doing this one in another page so in my case for example i have here vladimir's tutorial i'm gonna use this one for testing this one and i also make sure that it is private so it's not gonna be seen by other people so i'm just going to go and name this one test stream all right just like so and then later on as you go live i want you to go ahead and uh, try to make it private so that others will not be able to see it so yeah those are the tips that i will be able to give you guys i hope you're going to enjoy streaming with your mobile app and yep that sums up our video for today and i hope you found this guide on connecting streamlabs to facebook live helpful with these easy steps, you are now equipped to enhance your mobile streaming experience, engage your audience with personalized overlays, and create a standout live stream on Facebook. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.